Hi guys, welcome to my 38 week pregnancy vlog. Here I am with my little friend. Hiya buddy. We, name, we call him Herman. He's our buddy, he's having a little sleep. We've been hand feeding him today. Um, lots of eucalypt leaves. So he's a bit of a sleepy guy right now. Um, it's pretty cool that we have our own koala. So he has been with us for quite a while here. Oh, can I zoom in? I don't know how to zoom in here. He's been with us, I'd say, for about three years. And we always see him on the property. Um, but today was the very first day we could ham feed him and pat him as well. He's a pretty old guy. I don't know how much longer he has to go, but... Um, it's been a very exciting day here because the boys have been able to pat him and feed him and um and we're gonna leave some water out for him as well okay here's my house as you can see pandemonium um <laughs> we have a lot going on a lot of renovations here's the belly Hello, big girl. And uh, yeah, this is the reality of my house again this week. Big old painter. Here are the dudes. Hi, you're on my vlog. <laughs> this is Kevin. Hello. He, he's in charge. He's building this nice little area for us. Um. But yeah, this is what I'm going through at 38 weeks uh, pregnant, <laughs> which is my own fault, but we know it's going to be really beautiful. So we're really excited about it and how it all turns out. Um, I've been doing a lot of walking because I'm getting lots of Braxton Hicks. I'm going to put you right here. One second. Okay. There we go. Hopefully that stands up okay. Oh, good. Wow, my hair is a mess. Um, I actually, this week, spent some time doing things for me. I, I had my eyebrows tinted, I got my hair done, um, and I've been really just spending a lot of time here on the property, walking around, talking to the builders, helping them get sorted and and just answering any questions they have. It's been a great week, we've had the best week. Um, on the weekend we went to this BMX bike track and see how puffed out I am just from walking from one side of my property over to the house. Um, well, I we went bike riding on the weekend and I had a forest in the front and I managed to do a couple of laps and then I would stop for a breather and then Forrest would be like, keep going, mummy, I wanna go over the bumps. Um, and then so I would go again and then I'd split out with Mark. But it was really fun just to see the boys giving it such a good shot and Isaac went on these massive hills and he felt really proud of himself. And, um, and same with Bodhi, it was Bodhi's first, second time riding without training wheels. Hi, Blackwood. Hi, um, and so he was feeling really excited that he was able to do it and we just it was just one of those beautiful days where we just hung out together and um, had fun and laughed and we were outside and it was actually drizzling with rain but it was really nice um, hi buddy boy oh, I feel like the cats are going to be in for a rude awakening when the baby gets here because they've been such a you know such sweet little cuddly guys and girls um but we've been warned about the idea that if your baby's sleeping sometimes cats like to come and sleep on top of their heads so i feel like they're probably going to be outside for a little bit the first few weeks that she's here um anyway so oh just is super i just feel really relaxed in my body i feel great i feel like i'm more ready for her to come now I've been spending a lot of time just staying at home instead of racing around doing school pickup and drop off. 
Um, I wake up early and I get the kids ready in the mornings. And then say hi, you're on my blog. Hi. <laughs> there, are you guys going on a nature walk? And, oh, you're going on a bike ride. Awesome. Oh, look, see, this is what I was talking about, biking. It's one of my favorite things to do with my family. Yeah, you, you. Um, disclaimer, they're not wearing helmets, but uh, they should be. You're on the grass, okay. Um, anyway, so they're gonna ride off into our property somewhere, which I don't know how far they're gonna get because our property is really steep. Um, so this will be a funny adventure just to see. I'm sure they'll be back in five minutes. Um, but yeah, it's just been like this. It's just been hanging out at the house, having Izzy here, all the kids hanging out together. I mean, lots of noise, but I don't mind. I don't mind the vibrancy of having people around and um, there's just a good feeling in the air. And I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling obviously about a week and a bit, a little bit away from having her. and. By then the house will almost be finished. I have a couple more things that I feel like I need to do. I got my big birth email out, which is great. And it was just talking all about logistics and childcare and who's picking up who. And my parents are gonna have Isaac and, um, and Mark, like just giving Mark instructions on who to ring when I go into labor and who should be up here and who should meet us at the hospital. And, um, and also my midwife is away. So she is away until the 8th uh, until the 7th of april that night and i'm due on the 10th so i'm hoping she stays put for a little bit longer so i've been talking a lot to the belly saying not quite yet you're almost ready but not quite yet um obviously she'll come when she wants to come and the one thing about this pregnancy is that because i've had this iso immunization pregnancy which is all to do with the antibodies and mark having this antigen and anyway i think i talked about it on an earlier blog vlog i should say pregnancy vlog um it has come up positive again and i said that a few weeks ago but that basically means that just to be on the safe side they really would like to see me give birth right around my due date so i think maybe i'll get two days post my due date so that means as soon as i know she's back on sunday um, today here is Tuesday, so on Sunday I am ramping up all the things. Um, some of them are probably myths on how to induce labour naturally, but I'm just, whatever, I'm gonna do it all and, and see if anything happens. Um, and I'm having a stretch and sweep on Monday the next day that she comes, just to help speed things along. And hopefully I will not have to get induced and I do not want to get I really really don't want to get induced so I will do all the things that I can before that time and I think probably two days or three days post my due date they might talk about some more natural ways of inducing as opposed to taking Pitocin or having Syntocin I think it's called in Australia because um, I don't I'm really hoping to be able to not be induced so fingers crossed she comes out relatively soon and oh i'm feeling so excited about it i i've been having tons of braxton hicks but with the braxton hicks i've been having a little bit of back labor which makes me slightly nervous about her position although i've been told that she isn't posterior doesn't feel like she's posterior um i just don't know where the back pain is coming from maybe it's just because I'm heavier, I'm having back pain. I hope that's the case. But it was specifically when I was having those uterine contractions, the mild ones, that I was like, oof, I can feel that a little bit here. Um, so I'm picking up a TENS machine tomorrow. I don't know if any of you guys have used TENS machines before in labor. I had one for my forest labor, but as I'm sure you saw from my birth video with him, it was just so fast and I had no back labor and it was super manageable and it was a three hour birth and most of the time I was in water so you can't use a tennis machine when you're in water um and I'm really hoping that that's the kind of birth that I get to have this time but obviously I'm staying open 
um, and I'll just have it there as backup. I've got to do a couple more little prep things like get my cold flannels with uh, eucalyptus and uh, lemongrass going and in the fridge. Um, I also have to do, I uh, have to wash a few more things. So I just have to wash the car seat. Uh, I have to clean out the car because my kids are constantly making the car so filthy. No matter how many times I clean it, the car is just filthy. Um, and I, oh, and we're doing the run. We're doing the run to the birth center because last time when I was in labor, it was so funny. It just kind of, I think Mark was so stressed out that to get to, he had no idea how to get to the birth center. Even though we had done a bunch of runs, he had done it so many times before. It's like he just was panicked and stressed out. He kept taking all these wrong turns. We ended up getting there about 10 minutes later than we would have done if he had just driven the way that I thought he knew. Um, and Kat, my best friend and doula, who's also an ex-paramedic who's gonna be with me, um, she was like, I have to prep for a roadside delivery because Mark doesn't know how to get to the birth center and he keeps making all these wrong turns. He turned into um, the university that's right by the hospital. So he's like, we're here. And I remember Kat being like, we're at the university. We're not at the hospital. Um, and it was just, we were so lucky because I, I gave birth about 20 minutes after I got there. Um, but I was starting to push in the car. So it was, it was pretty touch and go. And I know Kat, for her this time, she wrote me back after my big long birth email. She was like, look, I wanna make sure that we get to the hospital quicker this time um, because you have to get signed in and then you get up to the birth center floor and it, it's, you just want a little bit more time. It was very touch and go for us in terms of whether or not we're gonna have a baby in the car. So I think she said that that's her focus. She's like, I'm just gonna make sure we get there on time. Um, and everyone has a role. My One of my best friends, Claire, is gonna be there and she's um, gonna be taking video and just you know, making sure I'm drinking water because they say that when you get dehydrated, the contractions are actually more painful. And same with if you have a full bladder and you're not emptying your bladder enough. So she's gonna be...